All right, traders, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a site that is phenomenal for data science, and we're gonna be looking at the free version of the site. So if you're into data science, if you're into um, correlation research and some other kinds of cryptocurrency research, then this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get into the... All right, we are in the Macro Access Lab now. Uh, first thing I recommend you guys do is to go to the top right and register an account. Uh, and then after that, uh, you can dive in with me. There is a free version, I think like a bronze version or like a, a cheaper version than like the gold version. Uh, but right now, this is just going to be the free version. So this site has really everything that an investor in crypto or even in equities would probably need. Um, just to show you guys some parts of it, I mean... Just to like dive right in and show you guys some, this, this site really does have everything that I could ask for. It has correlations of like every single cryptocurrency, which is something that I've been looking for because uh, not many sites out there for some reason have correlation correlation research. And you can see how different uh, cryptocurrencies are correlated. Not surprising, and this is based off the last 30 days. And not surprisingly, you see the lot of green, you know what that means? Everything is correlated basically in crypto. Shocker. The only things that aren't correlated or negatively are stable coins, which is just not surprising. Um, but it's really hard sometimes to try to find cryptocurrencies that are just not correlated to each that are either negatively correlated or not correlated to each other. And when you do, something pretty cool that you can do is if you find two cryptocurrencies, let's say, that are negatively correlated, if you uh, do something, you could do something like buying both in order to hedge your portfolio's exposure. Because if you buy a lot of cryptocurrencies that are heavily correlated to another, and let's say the market uh, starts dropping, all of them will probably fall. And if you can find that one or two cryptocurrency that's either not correlated or negatively correlated, then that's where you can gain um, maybe a little bit more of an edge. So for some reason, it seems like, uh, yeah, it seems like literally everything here is pretty correlated. Another thing that I found was just really like a hidden gem of this site is, watch this. Triangular arbitrage. Oh yeah. Um, so triangular arbitrage, for those who don't know, is when you have three cryptocurrencies and you uh, use them for arbitrage. So something like I could sell my BUSD for USDT, use that USDT to sell that for DAI, uh, and then getting uh, DAI back to BUSD and ending up with more um, of the first currency than I initially began with. So that's something that this site reveals as well with a bunch of different pairs, like so many so if i wanted to go like hey how about dash to ethereum to bitcoin there's probably nothing here but let's go look i mean it doesn't hurt right so if we check this opportunity we can see that there, there's a little bit of arbitrage available there's about a 0.15 percent difference but um apparently this says like unlikely unlikely for you to be correct for you to make money arbitraging because of fees this is basically saying you can start with uh, Bitcoin. You buy Bitcoin uh, at this price, I think using Ethereum. Um, oops, oh, that just takes me to Bitcoin. Okay. I'm like a little bit confused of what this is asking me to do. Buy, oh, buy Ethereum at the price of this from Bitcoin. You start with, oh, I see what you're, I see what it's saying. It makes sense now. You're, you're buying Ethereum using Bitcoin and then you're buying Dash using Ethereum and then you're selling that dash to, to Bitcoin and you end up with more um, Bitcoin than you started with if you can beat the fees. So that's one example of a triangular arbitrage. But of course, there's plenty of other ways you can do triangular arbitrage and this site's going to tell you them um, for free for some reason. The only issue that I don't like about the site is they don't have FTX, which is, I mean, undoubtedly, I think the best exchange in crypto. So, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm never going to hide my opinion that FTX is number one. And that's not a paid endorsement. It's just that the amount of things you can do on FTX is just better than everything. So Binance, uh, sorry, you got to move over because uh, FTX beat you. Okay. All right, now I'm going to get all the, the Binance lovers to start hating on my channel. Lovely. All right, so let's go back to some other things you can do as well. There's a lot of other things you can do. Backtesting, efficient frontier. Plot and analyze your portfolio against the risk return landscape of the market. And okay, portfolio thematic. What's thematic ideas? It's like I'm like a kid in a candy shop with this. Um, idea analyzer. Is it gonna let me do this or is this like a paid thing? Whoa. Okay. 
um, word map for sentiment. Oh, I think this is for like equities and this site does not focus on equities as you guys know. Exotic tools, Con content syndication. Um, another thing that I wanna show you guys and I, I wanna try to get to it is, uh, I think if I click this, I can get to it probably pretty easily. Now, I'm first gonna show you guys just a quick rundown of this. What I would recommend you guys do with this site is if you are an investor in crypto and you have just a bunch of different cryptocurrencies, you probably wouldn't have stable coins. You might, but you probably wouldn't. Um, you can do something like this, which is we throw together all the cryptocurrencies that we own and we're gonna run an analysis um, of the volatility and of the returns of these cryptos. So you can see here, all of these different metrics. And yes, this data is delayed by I think one to two days. These prices are not accurate as to today, um, but that's just something to know. You can see all of the different ratios of your portfolio, you know, your um, just a lot of information. Wow. You can even see a matrix of your entire portfolio, a correlation matrix. Basically what that means is you take all of the coins in your portfolio. Uh, let me get rid of that. And it will tell you how each coin is correlated to another within your portfolio. It'll even tell you the high positive correlations like BNB and FTT are very, very, very correlated, which is bizarre because um, they're two different platforms, but they're really, really correlated. These are all just very correlated to each other, as you can probably see, and you can even see different metrics of each. Another thing that I want to show you guys, where is it, is if we go to a coin, like let's say we click FTT and I get rid of that. Uh, another thing, there, there's a lot of things you can do with this. You can do risk metrics. Uh, let's see what it gives me with this. Like it says that historical volatility, yeah. FTX is very volatile, it says. It has a 0.35% return. Yeah, so exceptionally volatile. Chance of distress, it says, isn't that high? And you can focus on, you can, I can click on any of these. Like if I click this, it'll take me to like chance of distress. Very specific. FTX has less than a 28% chance of experiencing like financial distress. Okay, it's a little strange, but beta. Yeah, there is a lot on this site and you can even get like, um, wow, okay. FTX token beta, I think, is this to the overall cryptocurrency market or to the stock market? I don't know. FTX token analysis, FTX, oh, predicted return. Oh, but this is against the Dow, which is a very different market. Alpha over Dow. Yes, yeah, so this this is something that I wouldn't give too much to because this is basically saying when we compare FTT to the U.S. stock market, you know, what do you get? Which I don't really think is that helpful unless, you know, you guys do because I would rather compare this to, um, to Bitcoin, of course. And if I do that, I think if I click details, it will let me market. Oh, competition, market correlation. Yeah. There's, there is a lot you can do, but what I wanted to find is there's another one um, down here. Where is the, where is that one? Let me go to the top to try to find it. There's analysis prediction. I think one of them was like um, hype predictor or something like that, where it told you, yeah. As you can tell, a lot of these are even beyond like me, like this amount of Research is something that, you know, this is really, really heavy research. And if you put in the time with something like this, I mean, you can really, you, you can really, I don't know, research the heck out of this and do well from that. Volatility analysis, okay. But yeah, I think that this is definitely more for, um, this is definitely more of a site for investors rather than traders. I mean, you could use this to, to trade probably, but for me, I would definitely want to use this if I was, let's say, building a portfolio or analyzing my own portfolio. Um, that is probably the way I'd use it. Uh, yeah, that's probably the way I'd use it um, for the investing part. If I click, let's say, just for example, uni um, for profile. Okay. Yeah, this is, I think this is what I was looking for. It tells you all the different exchanges that it's on. It also tells you, okay, I don't really believe in this one, but it says, it says like the that there's an 81% chance that uni is going to fall and an 18% chance that it's going to rise. Um, so it's it's not really that bullish on on uni as you can see. 
Let's do technical analysis. Oh, and then it's even showing like uni against different markets. So against like different uh, parts of the US stock market. Pair correlation, other tools. Whoa, alpha finder, might have to click that. Efficient frontier, pattern recognition. Will it let me do this or is this one of those paid? Yeah, that's one of the paid indicators. Um, ETF directory, alpha finder, let's use this. Oh, hit me with that again. Uh, pair correlation, please don't hit me with, the, oh, they hit me with it again. If I go back to here, it'll let me optimization. But yeah, there's just there's just so much on this site. I could be here all day, like showing you guys this. But definitely, this is 100% worth checking out. Um, and it will be up to you guys to to decide whether it's worth paying paying for. But I really do think that if you're someone who's into data science but doesn't really have the access to resources to do complex back testing and getting Sortina ratios, Sharp ratios, constructing portfolios and you know, doing that, this is definitely a really quick way. You can you can do a lot of analysis very, very quickly. And if you're someone who is, let's say, even a portfolio manager, then this would definitely be a site for you. Uh, because if you're dealing with a fair amount of money, and especially if you're dealing with other people's money, then you should be doing, you should 100% be doing your research beyond just the initial indicators that you use to enter closed positions. Um, you should be going deeper into research with stuff like this, like, price exposure probability. Please let me in. Uh, you're not letting me in? Okay. What if I sign out and then go back? Oh, okay. I, I was like, oh, being all sneaky. If I click it again now? Yeah. All right. Never mind. I was like, oh, can I game the system here? And the answer is no. But yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend that you guys go check out the site. It can help with a lot of different um, portfolios. And the triangular arbitrage part's great. The correlation part's great. Definitely check out this site. I'm gonna link in the description below. It's free, so you know you can uh, you can use this to your own advantage. Without further ado, also um, my options course is gonna be linked in the description below, which I just released pretty recently. So if you want to learn how to buy calls, buy puts, and learn what a call or a put even is, you can go check that out as well. With that, happy trading, and head to the lab.